Okay, welcome guys, welcome. Hello. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jamilet. How are you? Hi, how are you guys? I'm fine. Perfect, very nice. And Jamilet, how are you? How are you, teacher? Hi, I'm good, thank you. What about you? How are you tonight? I'm fine. Perfect. That's very nice. Perfect. So, guys, very nice. So, guys, before you know to continue, let me show you something. Guys, this week is the well. Tomorrow we are not going to have a class, right? You know that. Mañana no tenemos clases, right? Mañana's off, right? So, guys, um, besides that, next week will be the last one. Okay? La siguiente semana ya es la última, right, guys? Ya es la última para finalizar this module, right? Este módulo. So, next week, guys, we are going to make unit number five and we are going to make the exam, okay? La otra semana es la última. Vamos a hacer eh, la unidad y el examen, okay? La, la siguiente semana, so the last day we are going to make the exam, okay? So, for tonight, guys, let's see. Did you finish this exercise? Terminamos este ejercicio, chicos? Yes, no? No. No. Jamila, did you finish it? No, todavía no. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Do not worry. So, tonight, guys, we are going to finish this and this exercise, okay? So we are going to make it together. So do not worry, okay? Hoy vamos a terminar la unidad number four, okay? So do not worry. So let me show you the presentation that I have here for tonight, okay? So guys, remember that we were talking about present, continuous, or progressive, right? Se acuerdan que estábamos hablando de esto, right? Del presente continuo. So guys, remember that in positive, para hacer mención positiva, chicos, Hacer una oración positiva, guys. We have this, all right? You use the verb to be, well, the subject, verb to be, the, el verbo, y se le agrega ing, right? Do you remember? ing. Y para forma negativa, guys, sujeto, verbo, not, y el verbo en ing, right? So that one. Y para question, hacer una pregunta, verbo to be, sujeto, Y el verbo en ING, okay? So that one. So you see positive, I'm walking. I'm not walking. Am I walking? Okay. You are walking. You are not walking. Are you walking? Okay. Now, guys, so we have this one as well. Tenemos estas preguntas, right? ¿Cómo se hace una pregunta? <coughs> so we have this one. Are you wearing a suit? Okay. Wearing, guys, ya teníamos que wear es del verbo, well, wearing es del verbo wear, right? Que significa vestir, right? O usar. Más que todo en ropa, right? So, let me place it here. So, tenemos wear, okay, wear. Y el verbo en ing, wearing, right? Wearing. ¿Qué significa? Oh, sorry. Wearing. ¿Qué significa vestir, right? Oh, sad, right? Hablamos de ropa, right? This one. So this is very important, okay, guys? This is really important, okay? Aprendernos este verbo. So, tenemos esta. Are you wearing a suit? ¿Estás vistiendo un traje? Ustedes pueden responder, yes, I am, or no, I'm not, okay? Si lo estoy vistiendo, okay? Yes, I am es una respuesta corta, pero que en español sería sí, si lo estoy vistiendo, right? This one. Is she wearing boots? Está vistiendo botas. Está vistiendo ella botas. Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Okay. También pueden decir en forma negativa. No, she isn't. Okay. Se dan cuenta de la forma contractada. Isn't. Okay. No, she's not. No, she is. Okay. Tienen dos opciones. Hello, Maria. Welcome. So. Guys, okay, we are talking about present continuous, okay, Maria? 
So, tenemos esto, okay, guys? Are they wearing glasses? Están ellos usando, okay, usar. Glasses son los lentes del sol, right? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Y también pueden decir, no, they aren't. Okay, aren't. Para decir en forma negativa, ustedes tienen dos opciones, right? Dicen, no, she's not, he's not, it's not. Or, no, she isn't, he isn't, it isn't, right? Al igual que el are. El are, tenemos are not y aren't, okay? This one. So, how to create a question, guys? Okay, para cómo crear una pregunta. Okay, so let's see. I have it here, this one. Let's start with the verb to be, okay? Primero, hace, tenemos el verbo to be. Luego, el subject, right? As I mentioned to you, subject, el verbo en su forma base. And then we add ing, okay? Agregamos ing. And then we can add a complement, okay? Un complemento, okay? Complement. Y por último, la question, okay? El signo de interrogación, okay? So, where, guys? Vamos a estar utilizando this one, okay? Que es bastante importante, en especial para este módulo, cuando hablamos de ropa, okay? Where, wearing, vestir, usar. So, wearing, wearing significa, ya que están ahí en G, están algo progresivo, significa vistiendo, right? Vistiendo. O usando, right? So this one. Wearing means this one, okay? Eso significa wearing. Porque es en progressive, right? Estamos hablando del present progressive. So you see? This one. So now let's see, guys. Okay, vamos a ver. Tenemos para armar una pregunta. So verb to be es el primero, okay? So let's see. Verb to be, tenemos am. Tenemos is y tenemos are, ¿ok? Dependiendo del sujeto que ocupemos. Ocupemos el are, ¿ok? Are. Ahora un sujeto. Let's see. Are you. Un verbo. Where. Tenemos el verbo where. Where. ING. Wearing. Um, let's see. Are you wearing. Um, el complement, let's see. Um, a blouse, okay, una blusa. Y por último, el signo de interrogación, okay. So this one, like this one, okay, guys. So that's how we create a sentence, okay. Así es como hacemos una pregunta, okay. So now let's see. Um, Jamilet, give me a verb to be, please. Give me a, a verb. Is. Is perfect. Now give me a subject for is. She. She, perfect. A verb? You can use this one or whatever. Um, sería... Playing. Playing, perfect. Is she playing? What? Ella está jugando el qué? Is she playing? Ping pong. Ping pong, perfect. And sin Is she playing ping pong? Okay. ¿Y cómo puedes responder en, en positivo? Yes. Yes, she. She, she is. Y en negativo, no. She's not. She's not. O. No, she isn't. Isn't. Perfect. So you see, guys, like this, right? Now let's see. Let's do another one. Maria, give me a bird to be, please. Uh, is he? Okay, is. Is he? Is he? Yeah. A verb, un verbo, Maria. Is he? Y 
You can study. use study. Okay, the verb is studying. Okay, studying. Is he studying? Let's say English, right? You see? Uh -huh. So, studying, right? Studying. Remember ing, okay? Todos los verbos, cuando los hacemos así, llevan ing, okay? So, perfect, guys. Now, let's move on, okay? So, we have here another example, okay? Uh, let me mute. Okay. So, guys, we have here this example, okay? You see verb to be, are, subject, you, verb, plus ing, wearing, Complement, a suite, a boot, dinner, you see? Now, guys, let's make this one, okay? You eat dinner. Are you eating dinner? Okay. This one, let's take a, an example, okay? So, are you eating dinner? Now, we have this one, okay? Tenemos estas también, chicos, okay? Vamos, lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a trabajar ahorita, chicos, en grupo, Vamos a tratar de hacer preguntas con estas palabras que tenemos aquí, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, esta. You eat dinner. Vamos a hacerlo, ¿ok? You, el verbo to be, right? Are you, el verbo eat, ing, eating, y el complemento, dinner, right? So, guys, let me send you this picture. Déjenme mandarles esta foto a su grupo, ¿ok? Al grupo para que lo realicemos, ¿ok? Vamos a realizar, he drink water, she study English, they play soccer, que okay, John watch TV, Jason and Richard, ok, esto, los vamos a hacer, ok, so let's see, let me make the groups for you, we are five already, ok, so let's see, ok, perfect, so, perfect guys, you can accept the invitation, please, pueden aceptar la invitación, ok, and we can start working. Y podemos iniciar a trabajar, ¿ok? Ya les envié la foto al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, ahí, okay, ahí pueden revisar cuáles vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Perfecto. No, you are. Oh, no. Presale. La siguiente. Y she is tying English. También sería a you. A you.
Okay, welcome, welcome. So let's wait for the rest, okay? So let me share you the screen. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So welcome, dress, welcome, welcome. So let's see. Breakout rooms. Okay, yeah, they are gonna be here in now. <laughs> okay. Welcome everybody, welcome. So now guys, we are going, you know, to start answering this one, right? So let me help you with the first one, right? So you eat dinner. So according to the rule, in order to create a question is R, okay, verb to be, you, the verb, eating, and then dinner, right? And then we have the question mark. Now let's see, I have here, here drink water. Do we have a volunteer here? A volunteer that helped me with this one? Or a victim? A volunteer, guys? Yeah. Is he drinking water? Okay, so, okay, perfect. So, Jose, is he drinking water? Perfect. Now, Jamila, you, you told me you want it, right? So, help me with this one, with the second one. La segunda sería, is she studying English? Perfect. Is she, oh, sorry. Is, is she studying English? Very nice, very nice. So now let's see, um, Jorge. Jorge, help me with this one. They play uh, soccer. Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Perfect, very nice. Now let's see, uh, who do I have here? Maria, can you help me with this one, please? John, watch TV. Is John watch TV? Is John watching TV? Watching TV. Uh -huh. Perfect, thank you very much, Maria. And then I have the last one, Jason and Richard. Jonathan, help me with this one, please. Are, are, are we or are they? No me, no me recuerdo. Uh, yeah, you can say are they, but in this case we are going to use the names. In este caso vamos a ocupar los nombres. So are um, Jason and are Richard. Are Jason and mm -hmm. Richard uh, driving yeah. in the art class in the art class perfect thank you thank you very much so guys this is how we you know create questions right this es como hacemos preguntas in english right y como podemos responder easy podemos decir yes dependiendo right yes she is yes he is yes they are yes i am y en negativo chicos no she's not o no, she isn't, right? Para el verbo uh, to be isn't, para el verbo to be is, sorry, en negativo tenemos is not o isn't, right? Isn't. Y para el verbo uh, to be are, tenemos are not o aren't, right? This one. Now, guys, I want now everybody to go to your platforms, okay? Please, everybody, go to your platforms on the website. Quiero que todos vayamos a la plataforma, okay, chicos? La plataforma de inglés corporativo. Everybody, because we are going to do an exercise, okay? Vamos a hacer un ejercicio individual, right? And that's why I need your help. Yes, por eso que necesito su ayuda, okay? So, please, everybody. But first one, for, well, first of all, antes que todo, chicos, ¿alguien de los que está aquí ya terminó este ejercicio? Anybody? Levante la mano, please. If you, si han terminado, ¿quién son? Nobody? Nadie? Okay, perfect. So, perfect. So, we are going to do it together. Okay, guys. Entonces, lo vamos a hacer. So, please, everybody, go to your platform, please. Vamos a la plataforma, okay? So, guys, let's start with this one. Okay, vamos a iniciar con el último, con el que está aquí. Okay, el último de la unit number four. Okay, section four. 
So we have this picture, you see? You see this picture here? So we are going to see what is here. So we have a question. It says, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Do you remember this vocabulary? So let's see, Bruce, tenemos a Bruce. Bruce, this one is Bruce, right? So chicos, ¿cuál sería su respuesta aquí? Tenemos esta. Is Bruce wearing light green jacket? Está Bruce vistiendo una jacket color verde claro? Una chaqueta? Yes, no? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, chicos? I need your answer, okay? In the chat box, if you can do it in the chat box, that will be great, okay? Si lo pueden hacer en el chat box, sería perfect, okay? So what do you no, think? He's not. No, he's not. Okay, let's see. Bruce, tenemos a Bruce. Bruce es este. No está vistiendo una jacket, chicos. Color verde. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, yes, he is. Okay. So, like this one, okay. So, vamos preguntas y respuestas cortas. So, I have Jamilet. Yeah, perfect, Jamilet. Now let's see, we have the second one, chicos. Tenemos el segundo, dice, is Nick wearing sunglasses? Nick, let's see Nick. This one, Nick. Este es Nick, okay, el niño. So, sunglasses, you know what is sunglasses are, right? Sunglasses son los lentes para el sol, right? So tell me, guys, is he wearing them? ¿Él los está vistiendo? No, he's not. Perfect, no. He's not, right? O también podemos decir, no, he isn't, right? No, he isn't. Aquí, chicos, ustedes solo van a poner una, right? Aquí yo porque les estoy dando el ejemplo, right? Pero ustedes solo ponen una, okay? No, he's not, no, he isn't, right? Cualquiera de esas dos que ponga, it's correct. Now, let's see. Tenemos, is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Okay, let's see, Beth. Beth is this one. Está vistiendo una jacket morada y pantalones? Yes, right? So in this question, what will be the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, chicos? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Perfect. Now, this one. John. John is this one. Look at John, okay? John. White, black, right? So it's a, is John wearing blue jeans? Is he? Blue jeans? Do you see him? No, she, no he is not. Oh, oh no, he's, he isn't. Perfect. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Perfect. Very nice. And now Anita is wearing a yellow skirt. You know what is a skirt, right? So a yellow skirt. This is Anita. Is she wearing <laughs> yes or not? Anita, a yellow skirt. No, she no. no, right? No, no. she is not. No, she's not, right? So now let's see. So we got it, right? right. You see him? Here we have the possible answers. Right? Como ustedes pueden responder. She's not, she's not. He's not, he isn't, right? Those are the possible. In this case, uh, yeah, he isn't. Si ustedes pueden también responder, he isn't, right? Perfect. So guys, we finished this exercise. Now guys, we have another one, okay? Tenemos otro ejercicio, que es el penúltimo, right? This is kind of long. Este es un poco más largo. So chicos, ¿quiénes terminaron este ejercicio? ¿Quiénes lo han terminado? This one. Nadie no ha terminado aún. No. Okay. Perfect, guys. So let me help you with this one, okay? So this is a conversation, okay? So for example, miremos primero la imagen, okay? Look at the picture, okay? So she is under the rain, right? Está en, en la lluvia. So this is my name is Clarine, okay? I am wearing a green suit today. Estoy vistiendo un traje verde, right? I am Hill Heights too. 
Hill Highs son tacones, right? Y aquí me deja I. Acorde con el verbo to be, guys. Vamos primero al sujeto, right? Sujeto. Verb to be, I am. Y ahora vamos a ocupar el verbo wearing, ok? Wearing. Ok. I am wearing. Ok. High heels too. Ok. High heels. Estoy vistiendo tacones también. Perfect. Now this, eh, yo la dice, it's raining, está lloviendo, but I, a raincoat, ok, a raincoat es una chaqueta de invierno, veamos, vamos a ocupar siempre para todas estas chicos el verbo wearing, y wearing significa vistiendo, right, o usando, is she wearing a raincoat, está vistiendo ella una chaqueta de invierno, yes or not? No. No, ok. No, So, in este caso, it's raining, dice ella, but I am not wearing, okay? I am not wearing, pero no estoy vistiendo una chaqueta de invierno, right? I am not wearing, or the UV, right? I am not wearing. So, you see, positive, negative, right? So, guys, with the rest of this picture is the same. Con el resto de estas imágenes es lo mismo, okay? Ellos le van a decir, Estoy vistiendo esto y también les va a decir, pero no estoy vistiendo esto, ¿ok? So, ustedes van a tener que adivinar, tienen que ver la imagen y ver si lo están vistiendo o no, ¿ok? So, guys, this is, we are going to make this one, this one, and this one, que okay? Vamos a hacer estos tres, lo vamos a hacer en grupos, ¿ok? So, let's see, let me divide you one more time, guys. Déjenme dividir los chicos para que podamos trabajar, ¿ok? So, let's see. Uh, perfect. Let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. So we can start working, okay, in the groups. You can accept, okay? Vamos a iniciar trabajando en los grupos. You can accept it, please.
Okay, hello guys. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, guys. So we are going to finish this exercise. We are not going to make all of them because they are too much. But I'm going to see if I can show you. Okay, what are the answers? So let's see, guys. Um, let's start with the first one. So it say it's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts. Yeah, and t-shirts. Perfect. It's very sunny, but they are, but sorry, they sunglasses. So tell me, guys, what is the answer here? But they sunglasses. They are not weren't. Perfect. Not wearing. Are not wearing. Perfect. Or aren't wearing. Are not wearing sunglasses no están vistiendo lentes de sol perfect thank you now let's see this one phil is wearing a suit today okay he a brown shirt what is the answer guys here he's wearing he's wearing perfect very nice now let's see but he a tie today okay Let's see the picture. I don't see any tie. Do you see? No, right? No. So he, he isn't. Not wearing. He isn't wearing. Perfect. And then we have the last one here, right? So she, a Swiss shirt, gloves, and a hat. Okay. Let's see. Is she wearing that? Yes, right? So she... She is wearing. Wearing, perfect. So, well, guys, this was the exercise. Era el ejercicio, right? So, did everybody finish? Let me show you here. So, you see, pueden responder así, right? Is o contractado, right? It's wearing, right? No wearing, is wearing, right? You see, no, is, okay, is and, and this one, right, guys? So guys, this is the, well, the last exercise for unit number four, okay? So este era el último ejercicio de unit number four, okay? Con esto ya terminamos, right, this unit. Ya terminamos la unidad número cuatro. Let me ask you something. ¿Alguien se ha quedado todavía en la unidad número cuatro? ¿Un ejercicio? Yes, no. ¿Cuándo, teacher, cuándo, cuándo revisan la plataforma mañana? Yeah, tomorrow. Well, no, tomorrow I have to, so I guess they are going to check. Puede ser que en sábado they can check it. O puede que hoy mismo lo revisen, right? Después de la última clase, que es a las... Uh, bueno, es a las nueve, creo, right? Yeah, no, a las diez es, creo. So, at that time, they are going to check. A esa hora probablemente pueden que lo revisen. So, I don't know that. However, chicos, sin embargo... Ya la última, bueno, la semana que viene, ya es la última, ¿ok? So, finally, we are going to finish the module, ¿ok? Vamos a terminar el módulo. Sin embargo, chicos, bueno, recordemos que debemos de pasarlo con un 80%, ¿right? So, por eso es que en cada clase yo les estoy ayudando a resolver cada uno, ¿right? Para que no se equivoquen y no lo envíen así y salgan malos, ¿ok? So, guys, la siguiente semana iniciamos unit number five. Y vamos a hacer el examen, okay? So be careful about that. So now, guys, let's start with this one, okay? So I have here a conversation. We are, well, we were starting unit number five. Ya estamos iniciando unit number five con esto, okay? So let's see, we have this conversation. So we have Debbie and Jim, okay? And the topic is, what time is it there? So guys, please, Please pay attention to this one, please, because I'm going to repeat for you, okay? So we have, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling, no calling, calling from Australia. Australia, I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. 
Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay. So guys, I'm going to divide you all in groups one more time. Okay. So we can practice this. Okay. Vamos a practicar esto, you know, because we have to improve the speaking. Okay. Tenemos que mejorar el hablar. Okay. So practice makes perfection, right? So la práctica hace la perfección. So let me send you a picture of this conversation. Okay. Déjenme mandarles la foto de la conversación so podemos realizarla, right? Let me open the breakout room so we can practice, okay? Déjenme crear de nuevo los grupos. So, perfect, guys. So you can accept the invitation, please. Pueden aceptar la invitación and let's practice, okay? Ya les envié la foto al grupo. Perfect, perfect. Sorry, welcome, welcome. So let's see, we're going to wait for the rest. So I hope you have practiced, okay, guys? I hope you have practiced a lot. And let's see, we are going, you know, to start with this conversation for tonight. Well, let's see, Jamilet, you are here right now. So you're going to be, you know, one of the ones that are going to participate. So Jami, you're going to be Debbie, okay? But let me choose another one. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so everybody wants to be here. Perfect. So welcome, guys. 
welcome back. So we are going to practice this one, guys. So I'm going to choose a volunteer. So Jamilet, you're going to be Debbie, okay? And let's see, Jorge, you are going to be Jam, okay? So let's start, please. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I am a conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? If 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four I am. Um, I really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Perfect. Very nice, guys. Very nice. So now, guys, let me ask you something. Do you understand this conversation? Entendemos esta conversación, chicos? Is there something that you don't know? Hay una palabra aquí que ustedes no conozcan, chicos? Or something that you don't understand? O algo que no entiendan aquí? Yes? All is clear. <laughs> All is clear. Okay, perfect. Very nice. So if we don't have any question, we can advance, okay, guys? So let's continue. So guys, let's talk about the time, okay? So we have the time zones, okay? Different time zones, it depends about, you know, the country, right? So we have Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Sao Paulo, okay? Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo. So guys, it depends about, you know, the region. For example, guys, you are in El Salvador right now, right? You are in El Salvador. It's nine, um, let me see, 9.51, right? Las 9.51. But I am here, guys. I am in Argentina. So here is 12.51, right? So aquí ya son las 12, right? So you see, that's the difference, the time zone, right? La diferencias horarias, right? So now, guys, let me move on, okay? So we have this one, okay? We have this one. What time is it, right? So this question, guys, we used to ask, you know, in order to know the time, right? Esta es la pregunta que usted puede hacer cuando usted quiere saber del tiempo, right? Usted le pregunta a alguien, hey, do you know what time is it? What time is it? Teacher, what time is it? Mommy, what time is it? Father, what time is it? Okay, you ask this question, right? And we have, guys, so here are different ways to say the time okay or the hours so we have the first one you see the clock it's one o'clock you see it's one o'clock we have this one just look at the picture okay you see so it's one o five you see one o five también podemos decir it's five after one son las cinco bueno son es la cinco después de la una como sería chicos aquí es como sería Son cinco después de la una. That one, right, in Spanish. Son cinco después de la una. Podemos decirlo. It's 1.15. La una y quince. It's 1.15. O it's a quarter after one. Right? Es un cuarto después de la una. You see? Es un cuarto después de la una. It's a quarter after one. See? This one. Estas son las formas en las que podemos decirlo, okay? This one. It's five after one, you see. It's quarter after one. Now this one, it's one thirty, you see? One thirty. Si miran el reloj, it's that one, right? Now this one, it's one forty. Okay, aquí era las y treinta, es la una y treinta. It's one thirty. Y aquí las y cuarenta. It's one forty, okay? It's one forty. Oh, it's twenty-two two, you see? It's twenty-two two. Okay. Now let's see this one. It's one forty-five. Okay. Vamos a reloj one forty-five. Yeah. La una cuarenta Right. It's a quarter to two. Es un cuarto antes de la una. Right. It's a quarter to two. You see. This one. These are the ways that we can use. You know, in order to express the time. Okay. So let me move on. Okay. So now, guys, veamos estos mismos relojes, las mismas horas, pero ahora, a todas estas horas que vemos aquí, chicos, 
vamos a ponerle las dos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, la primera, 2 p.m. So, diríamos, it's 2 o'clock, right? Ahora, las 2 y 5. It's 2 o 5, you see? It's 2, aquí era it's 1 o 5. Ahora es 2 o 5. También podemos decir, it's 5 after 2, ¿ok? Son las 5 uh, pasadas a las 1, right? It's 5 of 2, ¿ok? Now, esta. Imaginemos que aquí es, son las 2, right? Eso sería, it's 2, 15, ¿ok? Or it's a quarter after two, right? Now this one, la dos y media, is two thirty, or is half past two, okay? Half es como la mitad, right? Es como las dos y media, right? Half past two. Now this one, it's two forty, dos y cuarenta, right? It's two forty. It's twenty to three, you see? Now we have this one. It's a quarter to three. You see, it's un cuarto para las tres. It's a quarter to three. Or it's 2.45. Son las 2.45. Normally, guys, normalmente, usted siempre va a decir, ya sea cuando es las IPM o las AM, correcto, dice, por ejemplo, aquí, it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, is one o'clock, five o'clock, right? Or it's five or five. Son las la one y cinco, one or five. La dos y cinco, two or five. Um, nine or five, okay? Or it's uh, two or fifteen, okay? Siempre, bueno, la mayoría siempre va a decir if fifteen, o vamos a mencionar los números, right? La mayoría dice eso. Pero estas, guys, son diferentes formas que usted puede ocupar, right? Diferentes formas para decir la hora. Por ejemplo, estas, right? It's, it's half past two. It's, um, it's a quarter to three. O it's a quarter after one, after two, after three, okay? Para mencionar las y quince, right? So, guys, let's see this one. Veamos este ejemplo. So, ¿cómo diríamos este, chicos? This one. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock, perfect. And this one? It's three of oh five. It's three of five. ¿Cómo también podemos decir, chicos? It's five after three. After three, perfect. Ahora veamos este. Las tres y quince. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? Aquí lo tenemos. It's three and sixteen. It's 3.15. Perfect. También podemos decir. It's a quarter after three. It's a quarter after three. Perfect. So like this, right, guys? También podríamos decir this one. Las 3 y 40. It's 3.40, right? It's 3.40. Okay. 3.45. It's 3.45. It's 3.40. It's 3.30, it's 3.15, it's 3.05, it's 3 o'clock, you see? Lo podemos decir de esa manera o también usando estos, right, guys? So, Teacher. Yeah. Is it correct to say three half? <laughs> it's three, uh, it's, uh, it's three half. No, it's not correct. That, no, no se puede, no podemos decir it's three half. It's better to say this one. It's two, for example, it's 3.30 or it's half past three, okay? So like this, okay. but three half, no, porque nunca lo, nunca lo he escuchado. But I don't know, no sé si tam, en Estados Unidos también lo podrían decir o no, pero I have never heard, okay? Nunca lo he escuchado. So let's see, guys. Tenemos también este vocabulario, okay? For example, in the morning, you say I am, right? Noon, PM, right? In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, I am. For example, it's 12 a.m. Or it's midnight. Okay, it's medianoche. You see? So, guys, uh, esto es about unit number five. Okay, esto es la unit number five. So, de tarea, chicos, les va a quedar que miren el primer video que está en la unit number five. Okay, el primer video. Okay. 
Eh, o, bueno, mejor dicho, los videos que están de la unit number five, okay, para ir avanzando. So, guys, this was everything for tonight. Esto fue todo por hoy, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And see you next week, okay? Mañana hay clase. Recordemos, mañana es Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day for the ones that are fathers. Para los que son padres. Happy Father's Thank Day. You. Y, bueno, también a sus padres. Happy Father's Day, si lo tienen. So, guys, um, nos vemos de lunes de la siguiente semana, okay? So, see you. Take care. See you. Bye. 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 Take care.